The United Nations estimates there are about 150 million street children in the world, with majority of them not attending school. In Ghana, it is estimated that over 50,000 of these children alone are living on the streets of Accra. Frederick Clarence William has more. It is very common to see children living on the streets, particularly in the capital city. It is a situation where children are abandoned to feed for themselves on the street. They are in most cases exposed to danger and all forms of social vices. Children ranging from ages 6 to 14 have turned to the streets for survival as a result of many factors. The problem is partly attributed to parental neglect, abject poverty and broken homes. For some, the home is hell and they find solace on the streets. For others, there is no parental guidance and care due to poverty and the breakdown of family structure. Even though the negative implications for neglecting these children are known, it appears society and those in authority do little to address it. As part of efforts to rid the city of children, a researcher at the University of Ghana, Dr. Ernestina Denchi, urged the public to desist from giving them money as it remains a source of motivation. She emphasized the need for authorities to show concern to salvage the future of abandoned children on the streets. We don't even have a policy on street children. I understand it was started in 1995 and then it's, it remains there. So there is no policy. And without policy, these things are very difficult to achieve. Then there's also the issue of partnerships, which is the main crust of what I did today. The things you want, asking government to be accountable, looking for funding, creating a policy for children. No one organization can do it on their own. The moderator of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Professor Mante, expressed worry. Rapid increase of street children in the country urging the government to pay adequate attention to the plight of the abandoned children. 